Hello guys and welcome back to my life, which is just apparently a shit show right now. So I moved to North Carolina. This is my apartment. Uh, this is my spare bedroom that barely has anything. It's just kind of my storage room at the moment. So you know how life just likes to kick you while you're like face planted in the mud? Well, that's what's happening right now. So once I was down in North Carolina, I went out with friends, I slipped and then fell, then my kneecap was like on the side of my leg. So now I'm wearing this. I'm still waiting to get an MRI and to see exactly if I need to get surgery or not. You know, so that's just been a whole headache. And on top of that, I now have a bed bug infestation because I bought furniture off of Facebook Marketplace, which I will never, ever do again. Literally, ever. If it has like any kind of like fabric, not buying it. Not gonna touch it. Definitely, definitely not gonna bring it into my home. I mean, I can give you a quick tour right now. Um, I'm currently washing all my clothes. That's the bathroom. I love the Eiffel Tower. This is my bedroom, which all my sheets are being washed at the moment. So yeah, and then this is my living room. This is like my favorite chair right here. But I'm washing all the cushions that I could take off. And then I have, let's see. I have this, it's four bed bugs and fleas. And this is guaranteed or money back. So either I'm getting my money back or I'm getting rid of the bed bugs, either way. Well, I'd rather have the bed bugs away. Honestly, I don't wanna get my money back. I always want it to work. And then I also, have this as well. So I'm gonna pre-spray everything and then I'm gonna put like three bombs here and hopefully I'm just gonna kill everything in sight, you know, because I'm tired of getting these all over my body and the itch and they're annoying. They're heels, they're like in between my toes, they're on my butt, they're on my back, they're on my neck. It's everywhere. It's literally awful. I 100% do not recommend. Um, I can update y'all on everything. I'm also supposed to have an extremity come over at noon. I think this is uh, the 6th of October, 2020. Yeah, so let's see. Fingers crossed because I don't want to go over this more than I have to. So yeah, <laughs> bye. Hello, welcome to part dos of the bed bug episode. This is part two and final because it is pretty much solved. As you can see, my perfect specimen, Cleo, my pet, you know. I literally just got home from the bar, so they are very happy that I'm here. Right, baby? You happy? So I, I'm i sure you heard my first rant of everything. So I told the the leasing office and then the leasing office gave me basically kind of like a kind of like a weed x kind of spray but it's like specifically for bed bugs and i sprayed this whole couch this whole chair down and then i had a couch and i sprayed that down and then i went to walmart and i got like a fumigator or like bug bomb specifically again for bed bugs and I took my cats out, took them to a friend's house, and I had a playpen, had them outside for their, the two hours. And then, so once the two hours are over, I came back and I stopped by the leasing office again. Le leasing office said that the exterminator came in and kind of came, did a look to see, to evaluate, to see how bad it is, whatever. He said he found one, one dead bed bug, which I feel like from all the bites I've gotten, it had to be more. And he, I don't, I don't know where they are or whatever. Um, and then that he found a whole bunch of like egg sacs that were on the couch. So I literally just threw the couch out because I was like, you know what? I'm not dealing with it. Like even if the, the bug bomb did kill it, I am not taking that risk of it not happening. So I literally just threw it out by myself. Still wearing that knee brace. Where the fuck? I don't even know where that is. Any, uh, I don't know. Oh. Wearing this knee brace I st that I still have to wear now because I dislocated my freaking kneecap. That's a whole nother story, honestly. It's been going through like hell and back, getting forged into fires, you know, essentially. 
So I basically just like flipped it like a like a tire flip all the way over to the dumpster. That was like a while ago, not like a while ago, but like a couple of days ago, and it's, and it's still there. So like, whatever, I'm not gonna look at it because it just brings back bad memories of being like eaten alive. <laughs> So, but since the bug bomb, I have not gotten a single bite since then, and it's been, today is like the fourth day since then. So, like, thank heavens, I have not gotten bit again, so that is good. Oh, I can show you the bug bites. Um, I mean, I'm gonna take, it, take one for the team, because I'm gonna take my pants off to show you. By team, I just mean me, because it's just me here. So, yeah. Oh, also, do not judge my um, hairy legs because, you know, it's a pandemic and I'm not planning to go anywhere or, you know, so, like, what's the point, right? I'm lazy. And here are the bug bites right here. Like, it's crazy insane. My cat is attacking. Hey. Ma'am, can you stop? Yeah, you. Cleo. Cleo. And there's Pharaoh. Any hoozle. This is my bug bite leg. So yeah. That's the kind of day it's been. And it sucks. Well, not now, that's how it used to be. Um, these no longer itch anymore. Thank Lord. So, they're scabbing a lot and I'm just waiting for them to heal. I have ones on my back. As you can see, I've had an issue of them since, so I'm pretty sure I got rid of them, hopefully, because that was literally miserable. Um, still doing some other stuff, like, you know, my knee's still not better. I'm still waiting to go to an ortho doctor. Like, I want to get a different brace because that just makes me more, you know, whatever. But my camera's about to die, so I will see you guys soon. I'll, t and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great night and stay safe during this crazy pandemic, and yeah. Okay, bye.